Hey guys, my name is Alex Chacon. I'm currently an hour and a half outside Karachi, Pakistan at what used to be one of the largest ship breaking yards in the world. Dani Ship Breaking Yard was the largest in the world back in 1980, with 30,000 workers capable of breaking up to 125 ships a year, including super tankers. The operation here is simple. Old, outdated, decommissioned ships and vessels are run aground on the beach and dismantled by workers, taking between two and six months. The electrical components and scrap are stripped, processed, and sold mostly domestically. The economy has really gone down. There's only about two or three ships. When five, six years ago, there were about 30 to 50 ships. This whole place has become a ghost town. However, working conditions here are very dangerous. In 2006 alone, the Aces fire explosion burned 58 people and killed 14. Labor laws are very weak in Pakistan, and shipyard owners are negligent in this seemingly lawless environment. There aren't even any medical facilities, emergency services, or running water in the area. For 12 hours of hard-skilled labor, 6 to 10 US dollars a day is what workers are paid to work at what is said to be the most dangerous shipyard in the world. So that was a crazy industrial site here outside Karachi. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. You know, it's really dangerous here. They've got trucks that can't see where they're going. We're actually not allowed to be here. But the guy was very nice because uh, he knew we were doing something with uh, promoting Pakistan for tourism. All right, here's today's time traveling moment. Is This is where all the workers come in for some tea and chai. <laughs> this is not exactly a place many tourists can visit. It really takes knowing the language to actually get in here. So if you come here, definitely have someone who knows the language, knows how things move, so you can actually get in. Not actually allowed to go all the way in for safety purposes, but this is as far as you can go. But the drone does a really great job at getting the things that you can't see on the ground. People here are so nice. Thank you very much. People here are just wonderful. So, shukriya.